welcome to my uh, lesson video lesson on uh, negative work I decided to uh, create this lesson because negative work is is a concept that is not intuitive we are very aware of positive work but what is negative work and uh, through this video I will help you understand the concept of negative work so here's the lesson plan we will look at work force and displacement and then we we'll look at uh, examples of negative work and uh, at the end we we'll look at work energy conversion so first look at the physics of it let me clear this so work displacement force. So the formula of work is a dot product of force and displacement. So I have a block of mass m And this is uh, displacement, which is a vector, and there's a force acting in this direction, and the angle is phi between them. So work, by the definition of a dot product, is the magnitude of the force, magnitude of displacement, and cosine of the angle between force and displacement. So let me take three scenarios. Scenario number one when phi is equal to zero. So work will be magnitude of force multiply with magnitude of displacement multiplied with cosine of zero degree. So this will be magnitude of force multiplied with magnitude of displacement. So let me choose a color blue and my this force is in this direction. Now let me take another scenario in a different color. Phi is 90 degrees. So I draw this force here. Now work is not work is a scalar is force multiplied with displacement multiplied with cos now is 90 degrees so we know that cos of 90 degrees is zero. So work is equal to zero. Now let me choose yet another different colors. Let's go a little more red. Okay. Three. Phi is 180 degrees. So force will be in this direction. And the angle is this. This is 180 degrees. So now magnitude 
of work will be magnitude of force multiplied with magnitude of displacement multiplied with cos of 180 degrees. So what is cos of 180 degrees? Minus 1. So minus 1. So this is same as magnitude of force, magnitude of displacement, multiplication, and a minus sign. Now you must be dying to ask this question. How can a force which is going in minus x direction move a block in plus x direction and the answer is there has to be another force there has to be another force a prime which is greater than F because of which the body is moving in the rightward direction. So this is where a concept, the concept of uh, independence of forces come. In dependence of forces. So imagine there's a block and the block has several forces acting. The net result on this block will be as if these forces were acting independently. This is a very important concept to know. That's why when we ask the question that tell me the work done by this force when the displacement is in the positive direction, the work by this force is negative. So with that background, let's move on to types of negative work. So you see this video. My son helped me uh, record it. So I lower this book down. Okay, I start from here and I lower it down like this. So I go to my blackboard, clear it. Okay. So the book was at certain height. This was H and it moved in this direction. My hand underneath it, F hand was in the upward direction. So the work by hand 
is equal to the magnitude of the force by hand multiplied with the displacement which is h in this case and the direction between the two is cos 180 degrees because the h went in this direction and you know that cos 180 is minus 1 so we can write it that work done by hand is magnitude of force done by force by hand magnitude of displacement and the sign is negative so your question is that the block is the book is moving from here to here then who was doing the positive work let me choose a different color there is another force in this direction and this is force of gravity so you see force of gravity and H are vectors in the same direction. So, work by gravity is equal to force of gravity multiplied with displacement and cosine of zero. So this work of gravity is by gravity is plus force gravity multiplied with the displacement. So you saw in this case when I lower a book my hand is applying a force in the upward direction which is here and gravity is applying a force in the downward direction and as a result my hand is doing negative work that's one example of negative work now let me show you another video so this is a ropeway a cable car that, uh, that uh, has been installed in Vaishno Devi to make it easier for people to reach the temple. Uh, let me get to this point. So you see that the car is going down. This is another angle of the same video. The car is going down like this. So let me go to my blackboard. So this is the rope and this is the car hanging and uh, is going in this direction. So this force is 
a component of gravity. Now the motor over here is pulling the rope in this direction. So this is F force by the motor. So if I draw the axis and show these uh, vectors, cable car is moving in this direction, so I call it displacement of the car. Gravity is the reason the car is moving. So this is force of gravity also in the downward direction. And the force of the motor is in this direction. All right. So you see that displacement is in a direction opposite to force and displacement in the same direction of the force of gravity. So work done by the motor is negative. Why? Because the car is moving in a direction opposite to the force applied by the motor. And as we know, let me use a different color, work is a dot product between force and displacement. And when the direction is opposite, phi is 180 degrees. So as a result, work is magnitude of the force, magnitude of displacement, and the angle cos 180 degrees, which makes it negative. Now you must be wondering, why do we need to learn about this negative work? So what will happen if I was not having my hand here and lowering it, the book would fall freely and get on the ground. Since the book is nicely bound, nothing may happen. But imagine this. If this rope breaks, The car will fall freely and all the people in the car will have terrible injury. So motor does negative work so that the car doesn't fall freely and people don't get injured. With me so far, now you know the purpose of uh, negative work so that the book 
doesn't fall freely yeah. slowly and in this case the negative work done by the motor so that people don't have an accident if the if the if the uh, car falls freely now the last example of uh, of uh, of negative work we will use spring and let me show you a very fascinating video so this video is uh, of uh, the landing gear of uh, seems like a large plane and uh, I want you to look at what happens to the wheels So let me go back a little. You see this? This is the shock absorber of the plane. And when the wheels touch the ground, the shock absorber gets compressed like this. So let's study this with the help of physics. You saw this was the bottom. This was the bottom of the plane, and uh, the shock absorber was connected to it, and there were wheels here. So inside the spring was like this, and when the plane landed the spring got totally compressed so let me go back to the video so this spring was this was the normal length and as it touched the ground it went totally squished okay. so what does the plane will feel while it is landing. So plane will feel a force in this direction. And this force is coming by the spring. spring is feeling a force in this direction by the plane and this is the delta L that's the compression so on a Cartesian diagram This is X, this is Y. I'll, let me show you all the three vectors. So, plane plane is feeling a force in this direction applied by the spring delta L the compression is in this direction and spring feels a force so by the plane
in the downward direction. You can also see, say, force on the spring. So let's look at work done by the spring. There's a famous uh, Hooke's law. So Hooke's law states force is minus k spring constant multiplied with delta L and the, you should see that in this scenario of the three vectors force by the spring is in the opposite direction of delta L. Okay. So this is clearly force by the spring. And uh, the equation for work is half k delta L square. In one of the videos I have uh, given the derivative of how we come up with half k L square. This is the. So for the F by the spring, work is negative. Let me give you another scenario when the spring is horizontal. So this is support, this is the ground and there is a spring stretched by delta L and there is a mass attached to it. Now you see that there has to be a force F in the plus. So let's look at the objects and their experience. So if you think like this block, this block field force in this direction and it will feel a force in this direction. And the spring will feel a force at this end in this direction. So let me draw this on a x, y coordinate system and let's use different colors then now. So spring feels a force in the rightward direction and this is the external force. Let me write here external. Delta L is in the rightward or plus x direction. and the block feels a force in this direction and this is the force by the spring. So by Newton's law of motion, third, third law of motion, force spring 
will be of the same magnitude as the external force. So you see that delta L and force by the spring are in opposite direction. So as a result, once again force by the spring will be minus K delta L because delta L is in a direction opposite to the direction of the force that the spring is applying. And hence, work by the spring is negative. So now we are on the topic what happens to the energy and you will get a different answer in the three cases. So first one is that when I lower my hand so the work is negative but my muscles spend energy. This is how human body works. So if I keep doing this now 1000 times I'll get exhausted because the work is my muscles are still spending energy. Now the the second case the uh, uh, ropeway what happens to the energy that is that is the motor is spending on negative work. So let's uh, let me draw here. So this is my uh, ropeway with the car here and this is the force of gravity. It's a component of the force of gravity and uh, it's moving in this direction. So this is my displacement and the force of the motor is in this direction. Force of the motor. So the negative negative work by the motor can be harnessed so imagine you have a motor here and it's possible to hook up a dynamo and the way dynamos work that you have a magnet it's a magnet north south magnet and you put electric coils around it so we can use this negative work to rotate this magnet and get electricity out so you can get electricity out from this out. 
Now, the third case of airplane. So, when the plane touched here, the spring got compressed, like in this case. And the work was half K. So if I use, uh, let me use a different color, green I have not used. So this is the energy stored in the spring. So if we have a spring that is compressed like this and you have a force in this direction so you put a block here and when you remove this force the spring will throw this in this direction with the velocity V and the energy will be half mv square which will be equal to half k delta l square so springs can act like a battery similarly you imagine this here that the uh, spring was stretched and there was a force here this is the external force it got stressed to delta L so if you remove this force the spring will pull the block in this direction and it will transfer the energy half mv square again k delta L square. So this is how negative energy goes back and forth. So I hope I have given you an over uh, a lot to think about that what is uh, negative uh, what is negative energy and the experience of negative energy the uh, physical uh, calculation. So if you have questions contact me at uh, vedant.science our sessions will start on april 1st and the information on the admission test is on the website good luck in uh, whatever you are studying for engineering entrance or medical entrance but this concept you will use for both